This is a video on how to create a sweep that we will create from an additive um, approach. And we're only going to be using our work planes and the axes in our browser bar. We're going to do some sketch geometry, but we're mainly going to be learning how to use the um, work planes in our in our origin bar. So we're going to go down to the part, um, part command. And what I want you to do is we're going to come over here and click on our um, house by our view cube and click on the origin folder over here and let's go to our XY plane and I want you to right click and say new sketch and we're going to click on the line command and we're going to go to the origin and I'm going to want you to drag straight up and let's go up about a distance of 0.6 and we'll hit enter and let's come up and go to the arc command and we're going to do a three point arc so if you didn't see three point arc I can tell that's three point because I can see a three point so I'm going to go a three point arc and I'm going to tap once and I'm going to come over a distance of one and hit enter and then I want to drag up and you're going to see this right here is going to be what our radius is going to be and let's create let's see if we can create a radius it's going to be tangent over here so when we see this tangent symbol right here we're going to click so I'm going to come over here I see that tangent symbol I'm going to left click and you're going to notice that we're not perfectly horizontally lined up here but we do have for ourselves you know an arc created we have ourselves this straight line let's create another three-point arc and we're going to start here and let's drag over a distance of one again. So I'm gonna say one and hit enter, and I'm gonna drag down and again, when we see that tangent symbol show up on our arc, we're gonna click. I want you to right click and say okay. And we're gonna to go to finish sketch. And this right here is gonna be our shape. So notice how we just created kind of this windy little arc that has you know two three-point arcs to it. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a circle down here that is going to follow the path that we created. So I'm gonna click on the plane icon up here and I'm gonna tap on the bottom of that point, bottom of that line. And as I come along here in my browser bar, you can see that XZ plane rests right where that point ends. And I'm gonna click on XZ. We're gonna go up to pencil and we're going to click on our work plane one and this is going to rotate and I'll go to click on your house button so we can see this in 3d now I'm going to click on circle and I'm going to come down here on the origin when it snaps green and I'm going to come out and I'm going to put in a circle but notice that I can't make a circle that's this big because this would start running into each other the the what happens is when I say running into running into each other is this circle would run into itself as it followed that path imagine if you got a tube of cookie dough from the grocery store and you tried to wrap it around a pencil you couldn't possibly wrap that tube of cookie dough around a pencil without the, the cookie dough touching itself if you can think of it that way because of the diameter of that tube that you're trying to wrap around something well the same principle applies here so when I drag out let's go a, a diameter of point three of point three so I'm gonna click here and drag out and put a point three and hit enter and we're gonna go to finish sketch and then go to sweep and you're gonna notice that since we have a closed profile automatically that's a circle it's gonna start asking us for a path so it already recognized the profile it wants to know the path it's gonna follow and we're going to click on this, click on your path, say OK. And you're going to notice now you kind of have this thing that looks like um, some plumbing, a plumbing supply or some plumbing equipment. We're going to right click on work plane one and take away the visibility. And you now have a sketch that you created and a path that you created. And now we have this object. So you might be saying, you know, well, what if I want to continue this on? So what we can do is we can go back to our, our original sweep and we can find that original sketch and we can right click and go to edit sketch. We can just come right back into here and I'm going to click on my arc again and I'm going to click here and I'm going to come out to here somewhere let's say and I just want to go into let's tangent again and I can click you know you can do all kinds of other things you know I could continue this going straight by clicking on line another neat thing you can do is you can click and hold down after you draw a straight line and you're gonna see this kind of start to bend and get kind of bendy a little bit but you don't want to take too sharp of an angle otherwise it won't be able to turn that corner the diameter won't so I'm just gonna kind of click and drag out to here let's go to finish sketch so what we can do from there is I have the sketch now I can right click and go down to visibility and we're gonna keep that visibility on I can go to my pencil and click on top of the surface and it's going to rotate. We can come up here to project geometry and click on project geometry and I'm going to click on the outside of that circle. I don't have to come up here and click on circle and redraw over the top of that now because we already have a path, or, excuse me, a profile. We're going to go to finish sketch. I'm going to go to sweep. It automatically saw that, that um, yellow circle as our um, profile so it's going to ask us for a path. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say OK. Let's turn off the visibility by right clicking and go down to visibility. And what we have now is we have this kind of, you know, pipe plumbing snake looking object that we've been able to create from 
an existing um, sketch that we made from our existing origin planes and our axes. So with that sketch, what you've been able to do through the sweep command is to create solids that follow a path that you have identified and you have created. So let's right click and go to OK. And let's say we wanted to cut this to where it's hollowed out. You might say, well, this is a pipe, but I want to hollow it out. What can I do? Let's right click on sketch one and let's go to visibility. Let's click on our pencil and let's click on this surface right here. And I'm going to go up to project geometry and I'm going to click on this outside circle and it's not going to give that to me. So I'm going to, have to maybe it's going to make me click on the arcs. Yeah, I'm going to go to two arcs. It wouldn't let me take the whole circle, but I can take both of those arcs. And I'm going to go to OK. And let's go up to something called offset. And I'm going to click on the outside and I'm going to drag in and let's drag in a point 0, 0.015 and hit enter. And you're going to notice that I now have this circle sitting right in here. And that's what we're going to say that the thickness of this uh, of the pipe is going to be 0 0.015. So we're going to go to finish sketch. And I've turned on the path that we want this to follow. So now we can go to sweep. And the profile that I want, I'm going to have to zoom in, is going to be inside here. The path that I want it to follow is the path that we're going to see when I can click right here. And I want to go to cut. And we're going to click on cut. And we're going to say OK. And you're going to notice that it went ahead and hollowed that out. So we went in and we created a pipe and a tube and hollowed out that tube to the thickness that we wanted. I can right click and say OK. If I go back to the original sketch and say, you know what, the thickness with that, let's turn off the visibility of that sketch, but let's go back to here. Let's right click on sketch four and go back to edit sketch. Now if you say, you know, the thickness is a little too thin for me, we can go back and let's go 0 0.02 and hit enter and we can just go to finish sketch and that thickness is going to automatically adjust. So this is how you go about using existing work planes in the origin, in the origin folder and creating a sketch of a path um, for a sweep to follow and then also creating that profile. So otherwise in Inventor, you know, there's not any other way through extruding or revolving, lofting or any of these other ways that you can go about creating these types of shapes. And this is just one of the methods of how you can use the sweep tool um, to create complex objects in Inventor.